Hello, welcome to Toyota Sienna Makeovers with me, Tan. Today we're going to be surprising someone very much deserving with a whole new look. Let's go. I am on my way to meet Matt. Matt is a teacher, an elementary school teacher. He has been working throughout the pandemic. He is Asian American. He is part of the LGBTQ community. I saw some pictures of him already. His style is fine. However, he's pretty extraordinary. So I want him to have a fancy wardrobe. Matt has no idea we're coming. He thinks he's being interviewed for a documentary. How has 2020 been for you? We're glad it's over. <laughs> We're glad that we're able to move forward. We're glad that uh, we're going to be welcoming kids back to the classroom. Hello. Hello. Hi, my name's Tan. Yes. Um, you're coming with me. Oh. This is a total fake out. You're not, you're not doing this at all. What? You're coming with me, come on with me. Okay. <laughs> will you put your mask on? Yeah, I going? will. I Did can't... you know about this, Chelsea? Hi, dear. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> Are you? It's just little old me. <laughs> uh, well, I've never been ambushed before. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to play a little game with you. Okay. The game is called Tan's Toyota Sienna Moments. I'm going to tell you three words or phrases from the UK. And I would like to know if you can guess what they are okay. or what they mean. First one. Okay. Mardi. Uh, I don't know. Flashy? <laughs> okay, next one. Chuffed. Uh, that sounds like when you're angry. <laughs> okay, final one. This one's a phrase. In the UK, we have something called Cockney slang. Have you ever heard of this? I have not. They will say things that rhyme with something else. So if I were to say to you, dog and bone, what do you think it would mean? I'm trying to think of what would rhyme with that. <laughs> Phone sounds. You got it. Dog and bone is phone. Okay. So you're correct on that. The other two, unfortunately, you were very wrong. <laughs> Chuffed does not mean unhappy. It actually means really, really happy. And the Mardi means really grumpy, like super moody. Oh, that's right. funny. Okay, we are here. You ready for this? I as ready as I'll be. <laughs> okay, good. Would you like tea? Yes, please. Good. Okay, I set some aside for you. You work at a school? Yes. Elementary school? Yep, fifth grade. Fifth grade means nothing to me. <laughs> How old are they? About 10 and 11. How is it? It's good most days. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. There are challenges. Yeah. Are they at the age where they answer back? Like talk back? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you deal with it? You know, building relationships with the kids, they yeah. know that there's a time and a place, right? Yeah. So there's a time to banter like that and there's a time to be serious about work. Okay, good. Obviously this last year has been unique. Tell me what good things came from 2020. I think being able to see the resilience in our kids, yeah. right? They all have difficult things that they're dealing with, certain challenges that are, that are really unique. Yeah. And um, I've been able to see them overcome. Okay, good. Do you have something that you're most excited to do this year, 2020, when life gets back on track? I'm waiting for Disneyland to open back up. <laughs> That's your thing? I see why that could make you happy. Tell me what the thing is in your life that makes you happiest. I think it goes back to you know relationships. That's just a huge theme. The relationships that I've built with the people that I work with, my family, yeah. and my students. What do you think your kids think of your style? <laughs> I don't know if they notice. Oh, they notice. <laughs> Believe me, kids notice. Uh, do you ever wear suits? Uh, funerals. <laughs> wow, that's where you put on your nicest outfits. <laughs> so there's a suit that I wore at my best friend's wedding. But I was like, oh yeah, that looked really what good. Did you, what was it? Kind of a light gray suit. And did you feel good in it? Yeah. Okay, good. 
Okay, good. Well, I want to try and make you feel as good as you felt that day. Okay. And so I pulled some options for you. I could tell by your pictures that you're not somebody that likes to draw attention to yourself in your wardrobe. Am I right? That's right. Okay, great. So I, I would like to believe I got you nothing garish. Everything is pared down, but in a sophisticated way. Your rack is just behind you. So I'm going to, you can st stay right there just so okay. we're apart. And I'm going to show you the kind of things I got. So I'm going to give you the neutrals to start with. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Matt, are you ready? I think so. Okay, can I see? Woohoo! You look hot. It's cute, right? Yeah. Looks good. I love the pants on you. I love the jacket on you. And the colors are nice on you. Would you please start to consider these kind of colors? They, they, they complement your skin beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna have you head back and I'm gonna hand a lot to you. Looking so sharp, looking very sexy, if I may. How do you feel? I feel good. This is a good color and it's comfortable. Good. Is comfort important to you in what you wear? Yeah. Is that the most important thing is if you're comfortable? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I still think it's a step up from just jeans and t-shirt. It looks slick, like you could go somewhere nice in this and people would think he's really put a lot together. Mm. It looks sharp. Could you wear it to school? I think so. I think so. It's comfortable and I can move in it. Um, do you feel like we got to a point where you feel like this could be a new version of you? Yeah, I could wear something like this. Good, often. good. That's all I wanted. I am missing one thing. You just need like an accessory. And I know you had said earlier that you don't usually wear coats. Sure. So I've got one thing I'm gonna grab for you. Okay. It's a, a scarf. So I'm gonna grab that from the Toyota Sienna and then I think we're done because you're looking sharp. Okay, so final little touch. I got you a scarf, you don't need to use it now, but that scarf will go with pretty much everything. It's a brown, it goes with everything. So then you'll stay warm. Okay. And I'm gonna pack up the rest of that. That's all yours, that's going home with you. Sound good? Thank you. You're very welcome. Did we kind of do a good job? I think it, do you feel like we got there? great. Everybody likes options, right? So these are definitely some more options for me. Moving forward, I'll try to add a little bit more to my wardrobe. I mean, this experience with Tan has been unforgettable, right? Like you always see people on TV and you never really know what they're like, but being able to kind of see a little bit behind the scenes, it's just really down to earth, friendly, kind. So it's been good.